Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives. We're in the apiary again. Uh, it has been, I think, nine or ten days since the last time we went through and added on these second deeps. Let's see what they show us today. All right, everybody, so this colony here is going to be Main Castle. Uh, this is one of my swarm catches. So let's see what they show us. This is a nice honey frame that I put in here for them. Yeah, nice honey frame. So look at this frame, okay? You have that nice ribbon where they have nectar and they'll end up capping that and it'll be honey. And then you have your brood in the center. Nice frame here. So, eggs up in the top. Um, I'm not gonna bother this colony any further. I know it's queen right. Uh, you know, we're in a flow now. They're starting to draw out some comb. Um, I'm just gonna put this in back together and uh, let them go. So, main castle hive here, looking good. Um, very calm bees all together. Uh, you know, I haven't had any problems with this colony yet, so um, very nice. Very pleased with this one so far. So, let's get it back together and get over to the Apame. Okay, y'all. So, this Apame hive here uh, was a split that I made. Um, oh, gosh. I think it's been, <clears throat> I think it's been about a month ago. So I pulled this queen, and I forget which one she's from, but she's from one of the two in the back. So let's see how this one's doing. Now, I learned a little trick. With these feeders here, I can set them right in the lid. This is my uh, first year working uh, Apame hives. So learning all those little tricks, you know, I, I, I gotta learn them. Outer frame, look at that right there. Right there is my queen on an outer frame. Look at that. Beautiful queen from 2021. Uh, and this is a nectar frame, so yeah, look at her nice beautiful queen there. Nice. So I'm going to be careful and slide this in. Now, I'm only running nine frames in this 10-frame Apame. So I'm going to put that in real careful there. Okay, they're starting to draw this out, so that's good. So this is going to be my extra frame that I set out. And then I'm going to slide this over. And the reason why I'm doing that is... I do not want to roll my queen. That's what I wanted to see right there. Good solid frame of breed. And there's the queen right there. Look at her. She had jumped down onto this frame. So, put that back in. All I wanted to see. Now this outer side here, I've got some bridge comb that they have built. I fully expected that just because I'm only running nine frames. So I'm going to leave that space, okay? Put this back together and let it go. So I'm going to have to fix that one frame here. Um, not today. So I keep putting that off, but it is what it is. So let me get this back together and then let's move on over to the next split. All right, y'all. <clears throat> this here is another split that uh, I pulled from the back colonies. Um, let's see how they're doing. Okay, y'all, I apologize for that. Uh, 
I gotta figure out this GoPro because the resolution that I'm filming in gets too hot. Uh, so if anybody has tricks out there when they're using a GoPro 10, let me know. Um, I've been having problems with the darn thing overheating in the sun. So let me know. But what I did over there, I pulled those two frames that were kind of wonky, replaced them. So, uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want a lot of these colonies ended up with comb that's all crazy. Wow. The population in this colony. Okay, now this one here, this Apame, is the very first swarm that I caught and I had those queen issues, uh, and it's been since replaced with one of the Uribe honeybee queens. So, we'll see how she's doing. Oh yeah, got some good brood on there. Good deal, nice brood right there as well. Okay, they're starting this. Okay. Well, so... I'm going to get this cinched back together um, and just leave it. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, some eggs up there, some brood. That's all I wanted to see is that they're moving up, utilizing both boxes. So, let me close this one up. These are just real quick inspections today. Um... And let's move on to the double nuke. All right, y'all. So on to the double nuke. So what this one is, it's a 10 frame box, has a divider board down the middle, and it's two four frame colonies. Now, this opposite side that is uh, side green, we have a blue in the front here, and then there's a green uh, the green is the side where that beautiful Caucasian is. Wow, there she is, too. There she is, my Caucasian. There she is. Got eggs in here. But yeah, isn't she beautiful? Nice looking queen. You know, I'd be curious to see once this first uh, round of brood hatches out um, it's right there I'll really be curious she's right up there wow beautiful colorings on her abdomen too put her right in there uh, but like I was saying I'll be curious to see just how this colony looks. Oh yeah, beautiful. Alright, so I'm just putting it back together. You know, I just wanted to make sure that they're utilizing both boxes. And they are, so that's that's really good. It's the one thing that I'll say, those that are considering on using these uh, double nuke setups, what I have found here, you know, and again, again I'll say I'm no expert, uh, but you got to stay on top of them because, you know, because they're really only utilizing four frames in a box, eight frames total here, they can tend to go to swarming. So if you really don't manage them and give them a purpose, you know, whether you're putting supers on them, you know, whatever you're doing, you have to stay on top of them. Okay, there's some eggs up in here. Good. Some wet brood. That's what I wanted to see. Eggs there as well. All right. So I know both queens in this double nuke are now utilizing both boxes. And she's right there, in fact. So um, I'm just putting her back in. All right. Hopefully they'll draw those out here soon, and then uh, 
going to be another uh, two weeks for when I check these. So, you know, that's why I wanted to give them that space right there. So, very happy with how this is looking here so far. So, I've seen, you know, uh, brood in all the colonies. Um, Behavior-wise, they're, you all see it here, they're super chill. Um, you're probably wondering, well, Brian, why do you have gloves on? I'm just not feeling 100% today, you know. Uh, the travel kicked my rear, so I didn't want to let off some bad vibes and have them say, get out of here with those bad vibes. So let's get on over to uh, this next colony here. This was another swarm. I know I've got some wonky comb in there, so I might end up replacing some of that. So let's move on over. All right, last swarm that I caught. Wow. Holy Moses. Nice amount of brood on here. All right, everybody. So GoPro shut off again. Uh, I replaced two frames in that colony. Uh, they had kind of crazy comb in there. Um, pulled it out and replaced it. I found loads of brood and eggs in there. I didn't go into the, the lower deep. Uh, just no need to. So, the ants I had last time, up here where there's no cinnamon. So I'll replace that. So this one here is going to be the California hive. And this is the one that I just did that quick split. Uh, just curious on how this one is doing. I know I'm probably going to end up having to... Wow, good nectar on there. They're drawing that out. Yeah, good brood on here. Yep, good brood on here. So this colony is going to be picking up. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful pattern. Wow, there's the queen down there. Beautiful pattern on here. So, this colony. Doing good. Center it out. Get that wax off of there. Good deal. All right. Let's get her back together and call it a day. All right, y'all. So what we found, okay, going down the line, pretty much all the colonies are queen right. They're all building up into the second deeps. Uh, I'm pretty content with where they're at. Now, I know I have to fix some comb on a couple of the frames. I'll just get to that. I do not feel like just getting into that today. Uh, this colony here, this little split, the California Hive, uh, it's doing good also building out. So I know I'm going to end up having to move this to a larger box, probably my next inspection. So two weeks, we'll probably end up putting this in a 10 frame box. So, um, but overall, they're doing really good. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with uh, with where they're at. So, um, if you all want to keep uh, following along all year, hit that little bell and you know hit that like and subscribe and follow along. That way you get notified. So, um, but uh, I'm gonna get out of the heat, y'all. Get a tea and enjoy another day. So, y'all take care until the next one.